Hello, in this video we are going to go through the definition of a group. So, definition. So, a group is basically a set uh, together with a binary operation that uh, satisfies some properties. And then you have these, they're called group axioms. And so, if you have a set with a binary operation that satisfies those properties, um, then you have a group. So let's let's start by um, having a set with the binary operation. So let G be a set and star a binary operation on G. So all we have now so far is just closure, right? So basically it's a set with the binary operation. So like um, you know, if you have two integers, you add and get an integer. The set of integers is a set with the binary operation. It's more than that, but um, it's actually a group <laughs> under addition, the set of all the integers. But um, it, it is a set with the binary operation, right? You can add them and you get another integer. So that's what G is so far. And then we're going to say it's a group if the following uh, properties are satisfied. So we say G is a group if the following properties hold. Uh, I should probably say G a non-empty set, just to make it a little bit easier. Now, it's going to be non-empty by one of the conditions below that I'm going to state, but let me just throw in the non-empty part. But we'll talk about um, why it's not empty and why I actually don't need to write it because it's going to come up down here. So one, um, it's associative, star is associative, so star is associative on G. It's, a, it's just an associative a binary, oper binary operation on G. It asks, what does that mean? That means uh, X star Y star Z is equal to X star Y star Z, and this is going to be true for all, for all X, Y, Z, and G, okay, and then two, um, the other thing we're going to have is this, this identity element, I'm going to be a little terse here, I'm, I'm going to start my sentences with quantifiers, which is, you know, sloppy, but there exists uh, an element E in G such that uh, X star E equals E, I like to write it twice, and E star X Sorry, x star e equals x. I don't know what's wrong with me. x <laughs> equals x, and this is for all x, for all x and g. Okay, very important. Um, a lot of books will write it as one equation. That's fine, but I like to emphasize it is two, but yeah. And three, so this is the existence of uh, the identity element here. Okay, this is going to be our identity. You can show this is unique. It's a really easy proof but you have to think about it. Like I can show you the proof and you'll be like, what? It doesn't make any sense. It's really, it's like a one line proof, but you have to really think. Uh, three, three, um, the, the existence of inverses. So for any X and G, there exists Y and G. I don't want to use any special notation. It's going to be, it's going to be X inverse and it's going to be unique. You can show it's unique, uh, very simple proof. So for any X and G, there exists Y and G such that if you take X and you multiply it by Y on the right, you're going to get the identity element. And if you take X and you multiply it by Y on the left, you're also going to get the identity element. So both of these conditions hold, right? And so this is the existence of inverses. So here Y would be X inverse, and you can also show it's unique. So that is the definition of a group. That was a lot of information. Hopefully this has helped you in some way. Maybe I can give you a really quick example, just really quick, before I end this video. So, um, so if you're still watching, it's like, oh, just give an example. Um, how, about, how about this group here? So Z plus, this is a really easy group, right? This is the integers. So what is Z? Z is, it's all these numbers. It's like um, you know, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, you know, all the integers, right? Positive, negative, and zero. Um, and so addition here is the binary operation, right? X plus Y is always an integer, so you have a binary operation. Um, it's associative, right? No problems with addition, 
right? So uh, it would be x plus y plus z is the same thing as x plus y plus z. <clears throat> so that, uh, that works. Um, the identity element is 0, so e is equal to 0. Okay, so instead of star, you have the plus sign. And uh, the inverse is just minus. So like for any x, for any x and z, okay, uh, we know minus x is in z. And, and you can look at it. If you do x plus minus x, you get 0. If you do minus x plus x, you get 0. So minus x is the inverse inverse <laughs> of x. My pencil is starting to, to, to wear down, or it's the angle. I'm sitting far from the desk. Uh, this is a real hard recording setup. Um, it's not super easy to record like this. Yeah, anyways, keep doing mathematics.